Hi guys! In another video I talked about how to get a road use permit for public road in Japan. In this video let's focus on how to get shooting permission for shopping streets. Whenever you want to shoot within the confines of a certain shopping street, you need to apply for a shooting permit at the shopping street association. That is usually called Shotengai Shinko Kumiai or something the like, and they will have an office somewhere in that shopping street. The office is usually called something like Shotengai Jimsho or Shotengai Kumiai Kaikan, something like that. Sometimes larger shopping areas will be separated into different associations that have separate offices as well. So make sure you know which association the part of the shopping street belongs to that you want to film in. How open a shopping street will be for you to film there kind of depends on the, on the shopping street. Some are really forthcoming. Some don't want you to shoot there at all. For some, it's kind of a new idea that someone would like to shoot there and they're intrigued. Um, so you just have to call the office and, and ask about that. In case they are um, kind of used to people filming there, uh, some shopping streets will be registered with the local film commission, for example. So those shopping streets, you know, they do have application forms and procedures that you can follow. With ones that are not used to it, you might just have to wing it and kind of, you know, build a good relationship with the head of the local shopping street association. So the way that you usually apply for a permit in a shopping street is that if they have an application form, you fill out that application form. Um, you also hand in your pitch deck a map of where you want to shoot within that street and an explanation of the scenes that you want to shoot. Sometimes they want part of the script as well, so be sure to have that ready to hand in. Usually shopping streets will take two to three weeks to check your application and give you a yes or no. Um, so what happens is that you hand in your application documents and then at the next meeting of the association, they will all have a look at it and decide whether or not you will be allowed to shoot. So depending on when that next meeting is, it might take a while for them to get to your application. You should also be aware that some shopping streets want you to also get a road use permit for the street part of the shopping street. So um, you might need two permits to shoot in one location actually. And it can be a little bit of a um, juggling act because usually if you go to the police station that's in charge of that area, they know that there's a shopping street there. So they want to see your application form from the shopping street, but the shopping street wants to see your application form for the road use permit. So just make sure that they both know that you're doing both and show them each other's application documents. When it comes to pricing, it is quite different, honestly, especially if, if you're in the countryside, um, there might be shopping streets where you can just film for free. On the other hand, shopping streets in Tokyo, I'm sure in many other large cities as well, especially those that are used to people film there, um, they will have the proper procedures and all of that set up. They usually take in between let's say 30 to 50,000 yen per day. So it's not super expensive, but it's not for free either. Um, sometimes if you're an indie filmmaker, you can basically plead with the head of the shopping street association to give you a better deal. And if you're a student filmer, make sure to mention that because usually the prices are lower because they know you don't have money. So they're willing to kind of meet you halfway. In parallel to getting a shooting permit from the Shopping Street Association, I urge you to also get permission from each single shop that might be impacted by your shoot somehow. I mean, it's obvious that if you want to shoot inside a shop, you're going to ask the owner for permission, obviously. But also if, for example, your set will be right in front of the shop or customers might not easily get to the shop for a little bit of time. Um, make sure that 
all these shops around where you want to shoot know what you're doing. Um, I think timeline wise, what I found is best is when you go on recce to decide where you would like to shoot what. Um, just go directly then and there if the shops are open and introduce yourself, give them your business card. You, you can already ask them if they're okay with, with the dates, for example, if they're open on those dates or closed, right? All of that stuff you can kind of get out of the way before you even apply for a shooting f permit. Then what happens, they will get the information that you put up in the application documents. They will get that at the next association meeting where they will all say, okay, yes, that's fine. And then let's say a few days ahead of the shoot, you should go there again. I know it's several times, but you should go there again and hand out leaflets. Leaflets that um, basically notify them that you're going to shoot there. It doesn't have to be in detail about what you're going to shoot. Just um, have a little map on it so they know where you're going to shoot and the time frame and then the production manager's cell phone number. Make sure you're on good terms with everyone beforehand and you've done your due diligence in informing them. Also, if there's a shopping street, usually there will be like apartment buildings around that. Around the area where you're shooting, you should give those leaflets to all the neighbors and the neighboring apartment buildings as well. I would also ask the association about that. Um, some will want you to put these leaflets and give them to all the neighbors. Um, some don't need you to. I kind of would refer to their judgment on how they usually deal with their neighbors. The thing that happens most often is that one of the shop owners will get annoyed because you're taking much longer than they thought you would and you're kind of, you know, you're in the way of customers a little bit. So it's always good to have some PAs there that guide customers and that are very polite and to kind of show the shop owners that you're trying your best to not inconvenience them. Because then, you know, you will have a smooth flowing set. You will get done much faster without people complaining in your ear. And, you know, when you want to use the same location next time, they will know that you've been a really good producer there and they will be open to working with you again. Okay, and that's it about filming in shopping streets in Japan. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Stay safe.